Welcome to Utah. This is America's second driest state. Yes, they have 300 sunny days a year. And in this video, we're going to show you views like that. We're Marion and Chris. In 2018, we quit the nine to five and bought Trudy, our camper van. We are currently on an adventure to drive the circumference of the world. Good morning. You will notice that we are in a different spot. We are not on the mountains of Colorado where we ended the last video. We spent a couple of hours driving west and we have arrived in the state of Utah. We're parked up on this BLM land. I have to keep the noise down because we've got lots of neighbors here. But today we are very excited that two of our tribe members, Thor and Dee, are coming here to meet up with us, to take us out to see Utah. Morning. How you doing? Nice to, <laughs> nice to see you. Nice nice T-shirt, Thor. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> you will probably recognize Thor and Dee from the turtle videos in Turkey. In fact, they came out to Turkey twice. We met up twice with them. They are tribe members of Tread the Globe. And we're off out today. Where are we going? We've got a scenic drive. Right, we're going to do the LaSalle Mountain Loop. LaSalle. <laughs> <laughs> but I would like to say a massive thank you to Thor and Dee in front of you because they've supported our turtle project, flown out to Turkey, and just been awesome family to tread so far. Woohoo! Uh -huh. Quick stop to clean the windscreen for that better filming and grab a bit of breakfast. What the heck is this? <laughs> it's a scorpion sucker. sucker. Is that a lollipop with a scorpion in it? It's real. Is that a real scorpion? Yeah. So we skipped the scorpion suckers and uh, we're gonna hit the road again now. So we're lucky today the sun is shining as it has been for most of our trip across the States. And already we can see the rock formations here are fantastic. Is it like this most of Utah? Yes. Okay, so we've turned off the main road now and we're heading up and this is the Colorado River, the famous Colorado River that we've all heard about. We've all heard about and on Marion's bucket list is to do canoeing on the Colorado River. Actually, isn't the Hoover Dam on the Colorado River? It is. Yeah, this is the one that goes down the Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon! <laughs> I love the fact that you've got all the dry desert and the rocks and then next to the river you've got like this green oasis and there are campgrounds um, along the river but they are paid. And popular because it's so beautiful I've actually had to remind myself to close my mouth because I'm finding my <laughs> hands jaw dropping. Stunning, absolutely stunning. I mean we're staying on the BLM land which is, uh, which is free all helps the travel budget. And those spots are at a premium. There's only a couple spots. People are paying top dollar to stay right. Oh, uh, yeah. We couldn't help but stop. I mean, look at this. The Colorado River, fantastic views all the way down the canyon. These amazing rock formations. Just wild. Look how beautiful and fragile this little tiny flower is. Some people said to us, you know, driving through Utah, oh, there's not much to see. It's just the desert. Wrong. Look at this. This is fantastic. So we were just driving along and we spotted a beach. And what we do indeed, we're going to go and dunk our feet in the water, aren't Let's we? Let's do it. Let's do it. It's a proper sandy beach. Oh my goodness, it's so soft. Look. Oh. Oh, oh that's <laughs> lovely. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> Jeez. I'm Flipping it. Heck. You want to go swimming in here? It's freezing. Oh. But it probably comes from melted snow up in the mountains, yeah. right? You can paddleboard and canoe on the river here. It's going to be cold. Don't fall in. <laughs> Oh, 
We've left the river now, we're heading inland a little bit and uh, we're heading up into the mountains and it's still just as beautiful. Driving over the mountains this morning, we just had to stop. You're gonna wanna see this view. Check out that view. Is that not just typical Utah? For all you flower lovers, look at these blue flowers. Marianne's loving that shot, aren't you, love? I am loving that shot. That is on Instagram. And just when you thought it couldn't get better. So you can see the route we drove. We started off down there, came through, around, and then uh, come up here now. Look at this canyon here. And you can see the road that we drove on along here. We were just having a discussion about the million dollar highway and we were saying, it's not that scary because all of these roads, if you fall off, you're screwed anyway. But can I also say, view from the loo. What a view that is. That's a good view from the loo, Marianne. Is there a window in the loo? I don't know, but I'm going to check well, it out. Well, there could be because nobody can look in. There is, but you can't see out of there. Huh? But it's very nice that they've got this facility. Lutor. <laughs> they've, they've got this lovely setup where all the way around Utah, all the roads we've been, they've always got these loops. Yeah, it's very good. That's great. Oh, actually, there's a window here. Look, you can look. It's not a window, but that's the view from the loo. <laughs> Cows on the road. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't seen cows on the road for a long time. Morning. Oh, look. So we've come to the Needles Overlook. This is insane. I've never seen a, a view like that before. I feel there's going to be a reveal shot coming up over the top of these rocks. Which way to look? Look at that way first. Oh my goodness. And then come forth. Wow. I just came over the brow of the hill and I thought that's a great place for a photograph until I saw the drop. No chance. <laughs> look how high up we are. You can see the pinnacles down there. This park is just mind blowing. Look, it just goes on forever. I was just saying that whether you have faith or not, when you come to a place like this, it's incredibly spiritual. You feel like you are close to something that is incredibly powerful. To create this kind of surface, this kind of view. So if you're scared of heights, don't step too close to the edge, but look at that view. Is that not nuts, Marianne? Crazy. We were just saying, it feels like we're in bedrock. Flintstone land. Wilma! <laughs> Walking and I'm looking at this huge rock with a crack. So it's fallen from somewhere. But where's it fallen from? Watch where you're walking. So we've arrived at another very cool lookout point. We've said it before, it just can't get any better, but it does. And I love, you can obviously see the river with the green line, like a vein coming down through the canyon here. We, we come up this road to like here in our car, but then after that, you kind of need to know where you're going and be ready to go out on the cliff edge. And oh my goodness. Yeah, you can see the shift. dirt road here, look. Yeah. I think we made it. Oh, it's a car. Yeah. Hey, that's close enough. My goodness, I can't believe the drop here. We made it to the top. We made it. Oh, wow. Jeez. That's crazy view. That is nuts. As I said, we've done quite a lot of selfies since we've been in the States. 
but this spot is very special and Dee is very, very kindly going to take a <laughs> selfie of us. Look at that view. We're here under the shade of this rock face, looking out over Utah. How wild is this? Okay, now we've jumped back into the cars and we're heading to the famous Arches National Park. We had to book because it gets so busy and we have to drive all the way back round because there's a huge canyon in between us. Okay, we are just arriving at the Arches National Park. I've heard so much about this park, I'm excited. So entry into the park is $30 per vehicle, unless you have a pass, which we all do, and it's included. The America is beautiful pass. First stop, the visitor center. It's very, very warm today. And there's a water fountain. There is a water fountain, so we're gonna refill our water bottles. I have water in the pipe. Okay, water filled up. We've been into the visitor center. We've all gone and used their restrooms while we've got them. They've also got a shop with souvenirs and lots of information about how it, all the arches were formed and uh, all the wildlife that you can see. And now we're gonna go if Thor unlocks the door, we're gonna go. <laughs> we're gonna go and check out some of these arches. He's put the child lock on because we're all misbehaving. Oh, is that what it is? That's what that is. <laughs> so we've stopped off at the first parking parking lot. Um, there's apparently a very good view here that we're going to go and check out. What's it called? Park Avenue. Park Avenue, but not the one in New York. Or London. Or London. <laughs> Thor was saying that normally people hike from this parking lot down to another one. Oh, you can see the road at the end, although it's a little bit hot today to be hiking. And Dee also pointed out that there is an Egyptian sculpture okay. that's been natural, <laughs> it's a natural phenomenon. It is, it's up there and it actually looks like one of those Egyptian heads. Okay, the next stop we have stopped at is a rock called Rock. And it's called that because it's a balanced rock. <laughs> it looks like that. How mad is that? It's literally got a rock right up there balanced on this small pinnacle. That is so going to fall off one day. Dory says there was a smaller rock, but that fell over. But the thing that is astounding us and mesmerizing us the most is the carving all around the rocks where the sea and the ice that melted would have carved into the shapes of the rock. Into that. It is very, very hot today. <laughs> and for some reason, me and Dee decided to wear black, black tops. All of the rocks are starting to look like other things. Like, I think that rock looks like a hand. I think Don't you think so? I do. Or is that because we're just hot and delusional and dehydrated? We did once watch a documentary about uh, hiking in Utah and oh. everybody died. So I think it was called, um, I can't believe I'm still alive or I can't believe I survived. And 75% of the program was filmed in Utah and walking around, I can see why. Okay, Marianne's found shade. No, actually, technically Thor found the shade. Marianne took advantage of the shade. Are you sure you want to sit with that rock balancing just above your head? Oh, so now the next stop, look. We can start to see some of the arches. So we're going to go walking and uh, see some of these famous arches. That is one of the famous arches here in the National Park. There's two here side by side and they're known as north and south windows. So we'll 
We're gonna go to both? Go to both of them. So just walking up a little bit now, you can see both windows there. Found a bit more shade. The heat here is not to be underestimated. We are drinking and hydrating, but it is very hot. And you are sat underneath the most fantastic arch. Like I see sun flares coming down. Oh. Look at that, that's beautiful. Maybe that's just my halo glistening. You got an angel looking down on you, Marianne. And this one here you can walk up into and then you wonder what the arch looks like inside it looks like that and we're all hiding in the shade we're in the shade <laughs> the english rose is struggling in the utah heat <laughs> so the last arch that we're coming to look at is actually a double arch which is absolutely amazing we're at dead horse point which is two thousand feet above the Colorado River and the view is incredible. We're gonna just uh, watch the sun go down in this park. Oh, she comes, she got breakfast and suntan lotion. <laughs> How's the sunburn, Dee? Oh, it's actually looking much better. Yeah. Are you eating? What have you got? Breakfast burrito. Oh, breakfast burrito. Look at that. Ram with stuff and chili. What is that? It's, it's a, I don't know. It's a mix of, it's a whimsical. We're getting these guys to stick the Utah sticker on the van. I don't think anyone understands the pressure. It's, it's, yeah. it's, a, it's, it's social a pressure it's a and it's pressure. actually really hard to get them straight. <laughs> That's yeah. a good job, yay! <laughs> Today we're starting our day in Canyonlands National Park. There's going to be more beautiful scenery like this again today. And then later in the day, we're going to get down, do a little bit of off-roading and head down some dirt tracks to give you a different perspective. Look how amazing is that view. So there is actually a road down here. You can see, look, there's a car going along. We were thinking that would be an epic road for Trudy. The only thing is I'm not sure about vehicle preservation and whether we're mad because we can't buy any spare parts for Trudy in America but well, they could do it on their bicycles oh, there's another car coming they're all four by fours though okay I feel like we're a little bit crazy so let's just have a look Schaefer Trail we've come down to the beginning of that road it's called Schaefer Trail uh, high clearance high clearance four-wheel drive recommended. So we've come round, you can see the road coming round here, and it go, It ends up winding all the way down, and it goes all the way down to the bottom there. Lots of people, obviously a popular little walk to get here. Look at the view through this arch here. Don't lean too far back. So just in case you're wondering, you're not allowed to walk on the arches. I mean, it would be pretty dangerous and crazy anyway, but you can see there's a huge crack there. So one day this arch will just, it will go. It's all cracked all the way along. Okay, so now we've come down to the bottom of these canyons and we're going along the Colorado River and I'm pretty sure as we go down, it's gonna turn into a dirt track. So 
just in case you're wondering how high it was when I took the picture of Marianne yesterday. It's that high. So we're miles from anywhere and Thor doesn't have a flat a spare yeah. tire. Yeah. Thanks for reminding me. Yeah, I thought to remind you. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's just good, you know, just to make sure we don't die in Utah. <laughs> yeah, I'll play the answers, I'll play the <laughs> Oh, we could always climb that way out. There's tourists up there somewhere. Yeah. That is the overhang we were on. You can see the railing along the top there. That's crazy high. What have we got? Petroglyphs. They are petroglyphs. This is something I've never heard of until I got to New Mexico and now we're in Utah. Petroglyphs. It's actually really unusual to be down here below all these rocks that you can see up around us. It's got a really echoey feel to it. And it's a completely different perspective to being way up there with these massively open views. I'm really enjoying it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much for all your kindness and your guided tour. You're welcome. Most yes. appreciated. Oh. They've looked after us and now they've got a, like a three, four hour drive to go home. Thank you so much for giving it's us your time. Drive in yeah, it's really a little is. dry. And we survived Utah. <laughs> so far. So far. We haven't so left we've yet. Got big on the map. <laughs>